So let's talk about uh, logging a bit. So logging is the process of recording the trace of what's going on in front of the test. And we do this um, to verify the test has worked. We'll also often do it as part of the debugging process to figure out where something went wrong. There's a wide variety of, of um, logging tools out there. Um, there are some that are extremely popular, like Log4j. The Java side is, is, is very popular. Um, there's logging tools for C, C++ that you'll find as well that will help you sort of easily record data to be output. Now, what's, you may ask, well, why do you use a logging tool rather than print that? Well, it turns out logging tools allow you to disable at runtime. What do we mean by something, disable something at runtime versus compile time? While the program's run, I don't have to recompile it. If I want it to output more information, I can just say, okay, from something and say, okay, output lots and lots of information, really detailed information about what you're doing. If, if things seem hunky dory, I'll back off and I'll say only report very high level information, like where you're connecting to your database or when you're opening and closing a file or something like that. So I can dial back and can throttle the level of detail required with these sort of output format, uh, these output, um, uh, these sort of logging frameworks. And I can do so without recompiling. I can do so without going in and stripping out all the printouts or replacing them with slash slash in front of them. Instead, I can just do so by tweaking something in big file. This is, these are really useful frameworks. Um, we're not going to be requiring them here, but they're really useful to understand what's going on in your program. You can leave logging code in your program, and you know, if it's not needed, you just turn it off. If it's needed, you turn it on. One of the most useful things that can happen is, for example, is if users of your program, say you're in an IT shop and people in your company are running problems with your program, you might be able to enable logging remotely. So when they run the program, it will save away information about what it's doing. And when it crashes, you'll see where the crash occurs in that log. At the least, you'll see, OK, it didn't pass this, this point. And that will allow you to sort of go in and, and um, find the error. Okay. Um, so testing is verifying the program uh, works properly and handles incorrect input uh, properly. But um, debugging is often something we follow testing that will help us track down the source of, the, of any errors. So we say roughly that testing, ladies and gentlemen, testing, this is, instead of, in a nice recursive way, this is testable. Testing uh, finds failures in a program. It identifies cases where failures occur. This isn't everything it does, but, but that's one of its, its key jobs. And we say debugging <laughs> finds faults. So that it finds the faults that underlie the failures, the actual problem that underlie observable failures. So a failure might be something like an old one, exception, or it might be something like a crash, or, or it might be something like a disk folder, um, or it might be something like uh, an out of memory prompt, or maybe something like a you know uh, unbearably slow performance. We want to find out what underlies that. That's when we do debugging. I think all of you at this point, if you've gotten this far, and you've done debugging. Gone and tried to find where the problem is. Logging is a great help in both testing, developing confidence is really working, and in debugging. So it's, it's sort of a key technology that's used in both. It can clue you in to whether the program is, in fact, going through all the paces you think it is. Is it, in fact, going through the steps you anticipate? Is it opening the database correctly, et cetera? Debugging will let you find, OK, well, if it's not, if we see some error, you know, what's the likely cause of it? It'll alert you to where it failed exactly, et cetera. Okay? 
So um, you have to realize that, that logging will be, um, will be key. Okay, so let me just... Um,